Okay, the light and the fan. Fuck. Okay, gonna have to move. Welcome back to another YouTube video. So I've arrived to Miami. Tommy is playing in a tennis tournament this week for the Miami Open. So the Miami Open is a Masters 1000, which means it's a pretty big tournament. So I just rented a car on Turo. I don't know if you guys know what that is. It's like an app where you can rent vehicles in the city that you're in. It's actual owners who own the cars. Um, I always use Turo everywhere I go and I booked a Bronco. So I just booked that. I also have a lot of stuff to shoot while I'm here. So I have a tennis campaign, two bathing suit, Urban Outfitters, and like a few other brands to shoot while I'm here. Also, I think a few of my friends are gonna be coming to the tournament, which is so fun. Wait guys, also, look at how fucking cool these shoes are. Like the worst possible angle, but they look like Timberlands, but they're New Balance sneakers. I sometimes peruse through my old YouTube videos. So I started YouTube, I think four years ago, but I've archived quite a few of the videos, but sometimes I like to pop through them or even I do that on my TikTok. I'll just like scroll all the way back, and watch some old stuff. It's so funny. Like for a while I was just in such a interesting transition in my life, kind of going through it for a while. I look back even at my vlogs, my face was so much puffier from drinking so much. You guys didn't really know, or maybe you did know like how much I used to drink. Um, but I feel like through growing up and just healing and maturing, I'm just like not as all over the place anymore. And I don't think I'm as funny. I guess that might be part of growing up on the internet. It's kind of cool to go back and watch. Also to go back and watch and realize how New York wasn't serving me. And the only thing or only real hobby I had was like drinking. I really just do fill my life with so many better things now. I was just like a silly goose and I still am, but just not like I used to be. Okay, I want to go to Whole Foods to get stuff to cook dinner tonight. It's pretty late here already. I just don't have a car yet. Or I guess I could probably Uber there then have Tommy pick me up. But yeah guys, this whole Florida, Connecticut rotation is really, really fucking nice. I used to not really get the Florida thing. I felt like Florida wasn't really my vibe, but the way that I'm coming around to Florida, it's fucking nice here. It's also just close, like my flight was so easy today. Okay, going to Whole Foods. Carbone dupe. dupe. It tastes really similar, doesn't it? Really good.
did my skincare and my hair. I am going to get my makeup done at G Beauty. They invited me into their store in Miami, so I'm gonna go run there before Tommy's match. I honestly don't love getting my makeup done, but I know that they're really good. Also gonna wear these glasses today, and then this little purse. Okay, so I'm wearing a beginning boutique dress that I actually cut shorter. Then these Adidas bag I got sent to me. I don't know where it's from. Maria Oliver. It's like cute, simple bag. So I'm about to go get my makeup done. I'm just gonna head there, get my makeup done, then go to Tommy's Match. They actually have a G Beauty in Toronto and when I lived in Toronto, I went to G Beauty a lot. Guys, Tommy was so cute this morning. I told him I was going to get my makeup done and he was like, babe, but I don't like when you get your makeup done. Because usually when I'm getting my makeup done, it's like very full glam and he does not like it when I wear makeup. He's not a hater, but he prefers me without makeup. And I was like, don't worry, babe. We will do a natural look, maybe. Heading to Tommy's match now. I'm about 30 minutes away. I'm gonna meet my friends there. It's a really warm day today, but it's a really beautiful day. It's actually not too humid. Also, guys, this Bronco is such a vibe. Really like it. It's a really fun car. Kind of feels like you're driving a truck, um, like a little truck. This morning, I saw on my Instagram that Selena Gomez rate basically saying, please stop harassing Haley. I'm team nobody. I'm team mind your own business and like I don't know either of these people. Like the reason I'm bringing it up is because I feel like sometimes as someone whose job is public, addressing hate makes hate worse. I say this because as long as I've been an influencer, which is about five years, I feel like the hate that I got was exacerbated by the fact that I would go online and clap back and defend myself and make stories and get on Twitter and fight with people and like it made it way fucking worse. I still contribute some hate I get online from when I was living in Toronto. It was a terrible idea and I, it was so immature and it was with good intention to like stand up for myself um, because that's kind of the type of person I am. I will say something to your face and I will stand up for myself. Yeah, like if you fuck with me or in the past fuck my boyfriend, like I'm gonna have something to say about it. <laughs> you know, like, yeah, I just used to always react and respond and like give it things attention and, and like fight with people. This is four years ago and I really don't like coming on here and discussing people or celebrities. I just thought it was interesting because I don't think that that's gonna stop the hate towards her. And it's sad, but don't think the solution ever is going online saying stop hating me. Like I really don't think that's the solution. I think that nowadays, as long as you're a public figure, you're going to have some level of hate. Some people it's more. As long as you're known, people will talk shit. But again, I've said this before, that's not exclusive to celebrities. Even if I wasn't an influencer, people would still be talking shit about me. Celebrity influencer or not, you know, you're gonna have shit talked about you. The fact that it's written and it's words, for some reason gives it more validity. It's just kind of crazy how the internet works now. Words are powerful. And I'm gonna use my friend Amanda for, as an example. She's not an influencer, but say Amanda was an influencer and I didn't like Amanda, I could go online and write, I met Amanda. She was horrible. She bullied me in high school. She's a mean girl. And this girl has never met Amanda. <laughs> but because it's in writing, it gives it some sort of validation. You know, everything on the internet isn't true, but it's just crazy to me, not even in my own life, but seeing other people's experiences with the internet and watching situations like the Selena and Haley thing unfold. It's like, who the fuck knows what is true and what is not? We are not these people. We don't know their lives. Most of us will probably never know what actually happened and that's okay. I am about 20 minutes from Tommy's match. 
I'm excited. I'm getting nervous. Okay, another thought that I just had while I was driving. And I get a lot of questions from girls being like, how do you deal with mean girls? And the reality is, is that it doesn't exist unless you let it exist. You choose what you let affect you. It just got here. I have to go get my credential now. Hi guys, good morning. I've been up for a little bit today and I've not been vlogging. I'm gonna get a water, you want something? I would love water. Thanks babe. I had some work this morning and I just hung out. This is the first thing I'm eating today, which is kind of pathetic. I really wanna go get some real food. Oh my god, you got me the blue one? Smaller one, so it's perfect for you because you don't have that many rackets. Aww, I love it. Here's one Yannick racket. Ooh. This is the cool one though. It's got dragons Ooh. on it. Thanks, babe. showered i am so tired didn't do that much today but we were in the sun all day and i was walking around all day so i am tired i'm gonna make chicken parm for tommy because he had a long day i'm gonna insert the recipe here
look at everywhere. Oh, we're bigger tournaments there's always an off day in between their matches until the end of the tournament so i just worked a lot this morning i shot some ads now i think i'm gonna go to brunch with my mom and then tommy's gonna meet us there he just practiced today so my mom and i are gonna go to brunch she is still here from her girls trip um her friends left but i told her to stay because i wanted to hang out with her <laughs> And I just love having her around. Today's gonna be a pretty like short vlog day and not much going on today. <laughs> Got my beef stick. Thank God. Is that the five chomps? <laughs> nice. A little spicy. Hey guys, I'm gonna go shoot an ad. Am I coming? No. Beef stick wrapper out there. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> okay, just shot Urban Outfitters. Grabbed a matcha lemonade. Hi, I'm about to merge it. Okay, perfect. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. And onto a garment. I mean, is that, is that doable? I don't know, let's hear in conversation. Yeah, that would be really cute. Or what about like on like, yeah, like the side of the hat? I would put a horse, like a really small horse on the side of the hat. Or yeah, like a horseshoe. finished my makeup so Tommy's the third match on today but it is about 1 30 right now I hadn't done that much today honestly woke up made Tommy the usual breakfast got on my computer Tommy is playing the number one ranked player in the world today so it should be a good match he's playing on center court which is the biggest court in the stadium and yeah oh I need to go finish getting ready I have this really pretty Alice and Olivia dress I think I'm gonna wear it's like a green striped dress. Okay, this is the dress. How cute is it? Okay, I got this purse, guys, uh, recently, a consignment purchase. And I got it thinking it was gonna be perfect for tennis matches because I need to fit everything in it. Not big enough, but it's okay. I feel like I look like Willy Wonka, but it's all right. <laughs> For filming, I'm recording myself. I'm in New York. Hello, Paige, Thomas Rover, ripping <laughs> Bradley, <laughs> looking at watches. <laughs> Seva on Tinder. Sorry, no, that's not true. <laughs> As much as I love getting dressed up, this is, is my favorite. I'm gonna get into bed and get on my computer. I have a to-do list email that I have to go through and just some emails I need to respond to. Tommy unfortunately lost his match tonight, but 
I thought he played well and this is just part of the sport I'm excited for the next tournament and for the rest of his season oh I'm so tired probably gonna be in Florida for a day or two then head back home quite a bit of stuff to do at home I have a photo shoot at home and just like work stuff until Tommy finds a house I won't really have like a setup here in Florida I'll probably go look at a few houses with him tomorrow I love you guys I hope you enjoyed this vlog